Hi Diamonds! Happy New Catalog Day! I want to show you quickly how I personalize a virtual catalog to send to my customers and hostesses through Issue. I know 31 provides us with a link, but I like to create my own and put my own website attached to it so that it sends my customers back to my website instead of to the main 31 page. So I wanted to, since I'm doing this, I figured I'd just record my screen and show you how I do this. So you'll see um, I'm already logged in. You just create an account and then once you do that you can upload all kinds of things here so you'll see in the past that i've put the online holiday exclusives on here the gift guide for the um, holidays the fall catalog and such i know people put um, bundles on here i've seen as well so it's just a great tool that you can use each catalog season and throughout the year for different um, things that you want to share with customers so I'm sorry, I should back up because I didn't say what I was doing. So what you do first, once you're logged in, is you click on this upload button up here at the top, and that's how you begin the process. So you click on upload. Now you do previously need to go to TOT and download the spring and summer PDF file of the catalog. So once you've done that and you come here and you click on upload, you can select a file to get started. So I will do that and show you how this works. I already have it saved here on my desktop, so I just click on my Spring Summer Catalog and you'll see here that it begins to upload. So this just takes a couple minutes and once it's uploaded, you can uh, create a name for your file, you can add your website, and you can also add links to the various products that are there and link it to your website. All right, so once the publication is uploaded, the PDF file is uploaded, it will take you to this screen. So this is where you personalize your issue for yourself. So I'm going to put 31 Spring Summer 2018 Catalog, and you can always go back in and change this later. But um, let's see, description. I don't know what I've said in the past. So I'm going to put beautiful new spring summer products from 31 gifts and I typically put my website here for additional information so for additional information or to order go to and then I put my website so you would just do the same thing and then add your extension and then I say to publish. So then once you do that, it will publish it to the issue website. So again, we're going to take a minute. Okay, so what is this? You have to choose what it is. I'm going to say promotional marketing. And then it just gives you, it says your publication is on issue. Now what would you like to do with it? So you can click this button and share it socially. You can share it directly to Facebook, a VIP group. Um, there are different things you can do with it. So I'm going to choose this here, this publications list, so that you can see it'll show you um, back here on this original page where I have all of my issue um, publications already posted. It's now converting the file and uploading it here to issue. So I'm going to pause for a minute till it's finished. So once it has converted the document, it says this pending safe mode review. So issue does go through and they review what you publish to make sure that you're not doing anything against their um, uh, you know, established regulations and such, but I've never had an issue. So once they're, they've looked it over, it will not say that any longer. But what you can do once you've got this here is you can click on this button here that says open. And once it opens, you'll see that it, it looks just like the 31 issue link that you will find on TOT, except that down here now, when they look at the information, it has my website in it. But the other fun thing that you can do is you can go into each of these pages and you can put in links to your website on the products. So let me start with this. Um, I'll show you what you can do. 
So in order to add your links, we actually need to go back to that original old publication area where we were just were. So I'm going to click on the back button here. And then what you're actually going to do is you're going to add links. So you click on the links button here. And then you choose a page which you would like to add a link. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a link to this um, front cover. Let's start with the front cover. And so once you do that, you'll see this, the crosshairs here. And what you do is you highlight the area that you want to have a link. So since this is all about the studio um, purses, the BYOB, I'm going to make a link on that entire front page to my website. So I'm going to click shopping once this opens up. And then what I need is I need a link to my website that, where I want to take them so that they can shop. So I am going to choose, um, I already typed in here, but if you type in the box, Studio 31, you'll see lots of different options pop up, except that. And I'm going to choose um, just the basic build your own kit a link to that. So once you click on that and you have a link at the top, the URL is what you're looking for. So you'll highlight the URL, right click to copy it, and then you'll click back to your issue page where you will insert this URL by right clicking and pasting. Once you do that, you click done and it will, you'll see a little shopping cart here. So that means anytime someone is in my issue looking at this catalog, if they click on that front page, it where that anywhere here in this box, because that shopping cart is there, it's going to link them to this uh, website directly to my website and it's going to take them directly to this build your own bag section of my website. So what you can do is you can go through each of these sections here and add in links to all of these pages. So what I like to do is um, I do that for all of the different items. Now here, when you get to there's these hostess collections, I like to highlight this and then I will go and click the shopping link, but I will go here and then I will choose be a host. And I'll scroll to where you can uh, be a hostess. Let's see, where are the products? Okay, so here are the exclusives. I think it's under here, under Be Rewarded When You Party With Us, about the hostess rewards. So you just choose which page you want them to be linked to. So I'm, I don't want to link them there. I want to link them to where they can see that item. And I don't know where that is. Hold on just a minute. Maybe I will link them actually to this whole page about being a hostess. So I'll take the URL from on top, right click to copy, and you do the same thing over. So you go back to the issue page, you insert the URL, and you right click to paste, and then done. Now if somebody clicks on this product, what it's going to do is going to show them and give them information about hosting with 31. So um, you can use different, you can use this many different ways. Um, to give them different um, links to partying information. On the last page here, what I like to do is I like to link these, guess what, to the opportunity. So I'll go back to my website, I say join us, and then I will link that URL. So I copy that, go back to issue, and then I say insert. So then when they come here, they're going to click on this information they are going to be directed to my website to the section about joining 31. So again, this gets them directly to your website and it's not sending them to 31 where there's a chance that they could, you know, shop from anyone or search for a consultant. This way your customers are shopping and getting your direct links. And so you can go through all of these pages and directly link, um, I've never done that for the whole shopping guide. Guide. Um, I have gone through and done it for different products on particular pages, like I'm showing you. Uh, it just depends how much time you want to take here uh, to do this. But you can link anything that you like here. You can also, because we have um, the YouTube page, so I'm going to go quickly to YouTube. 
and I subscribe to 31, which is fun because then I always get updates on their videos, but you can go to their videos. And um, this one here is for the Sand and Tote Thermal. So this is a particular video, only about one product. So I'm gonna get this URL here for this uh, product. And then I'm going to snatch that and I'm going to put it in here on the page with that thermal. So let's see, I think I just passed it. So here's that thermal. So if I want to put that here, I can do that as well. So you're gonna add a video. So you'll leave it on that first button and insert the URL. And then when they click on that, you can link them to the video they can watch so they can see about that individual product. Once you have everything linked that you want to do, um, you just say save and it will add all of those links in for you. So it's a really great tool to get your customers seeing um, a lot of different areas of your website and information, especially when you add those videos in. Okay, I think that it's done saving. So I'm going to go back to my page, my publish. I clicked publish and then publication list to see this. And this time I'm going to click on open so I can show you what that looks like once you do put those links in there. So you'll see there's a shopping cart and it's highlighted. So your customers will know, um, it tells them, let me get out of this full screen, but it, it tells them, hey, there's inf more information here. And you'll see when I click on that, it takes them directly to my website. See my pictures over here, it's going directly to my website, not to 31s. And then you'll go through all the different pages. So anything that I added a link to, I should have paid attention to what that page, oh, there it is. So if I click now onto this thermal, it's going to show them the YouTube video on that thermal and give them more information. So I just want to encourage you to take a few minutes, even if you don't want to add the links, I would at least upload your own issue so you can share it with your customers so that it links directly to you, as I said before. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I can um, help you out if you get stuck.